Hello, welcome to Master Matic. This chapter is interesting because we will learn consumer mathematics, which talk about saving, investment, credit, and debt. Commercial bank provides three types of account, which are saving account, fixed deposit account, and current account. A saving account enables customer to keep small amount of money with no specified maturity date, which means the depositor can deposit or withdraw money without prior notice at any branch of the bank, but the amount of money withdrawn shall not exceed the limit set by the bank. Saving account have benefits such as PIDM protection up to 250,000 ringgit Malaysia. The bank will issue ATM card to the depositor which is used to facilitate withdrawal of money. Transactions of money, payments, and checking of amount in saving account can be made and revised online, and depositors will receive interest from their saving. <laughs> Fixed deposit account allows customer to save a certain amount of money at a certain period of time. The period of saving is usually determined by the bank from 1 to 60 months and the money deposit shall be kept and not withdrawn until the maturity date. For example, for the period of saving between 1 to 3 months. If the withdrawal is made before the maturity, the interest on saving will not be paid by the bank. And if the period of saving is more than 3 months, if you made early withdrawal, only 50% of the interest will be paid by the bank. The difference between fixed deposit account and saving account is the withdrawal can only be made at the original bank counter of the fixed deposit account. Other ways such as using check, ATM card for withdrawal at bank branches are not allowed. However, customer will enjoy a higher interest rate on their saving on fixed deposit account compared to their saving on saving account. One more types of account to learn is current account. The current account provides convenience to depositor to make payments by check upon receipt of their deposit. Similar to saving account, depositor can make withdrawal using ATM card. However, the bank will not give any interest to the depositor. Instead, the bank will charge the depositor for using the current account. Normally, Current accounts are used by traders to make payments regularly and safely. Big sums of cash are replaced by checks in order to facilitate traders when making payments. And depositors may also apply for overdraft with current account, which is not applicable for saving account and fixed deposit account. Let me explain overdraft. A bank account overdraft happens when an individual bank account balance goes down to below zero, resulting in a negative balance. Now we we'll learn about investment. Investment is one way to make profit from savings or purchase of assets. Investment include purchase of share, unit trust or properties. Petronas is a public listed company in Busa Saham, Malaysia. Take the Petronas company as an example, investor can be the owner of Petronas by purchase the Petronas company share. The purchase of share is a profitable way of investing. However, the increasing or decreasing in value of share is depend on the performance of the company. For example, if a company is profitable from its operating activities, the value of its shares will increase. On the contrary, if the company is loses from its operating activities, the value of the share will decrease. Investor can also invest in share market through third party called unit trust. Unit trust is a share that is managed by a company that receives money from the investor and select a share to invest based on the company performance. Normally, professionals will choose which shares to invest in since they are expert in this field. The advantage of investment in unit trusts are lower risk as investments are managed by experts in the field. Investors will receive dividend and bonus and if the company's shares price increases, investors will receive capital gains. Another type of investment is investment in properties. Investment in properties provides more options to investors. For example, 
buying office space, estate, and residential houses or factories. Increase in value in this investment is usually more stable and higher compared to other investments. The benefits of investing in real estate are Investors are entitled to rent properties that are owned and make profit on the amount of rental collected. Besides that, increase in the value of properties owned allow investors to earn from capital gains. The last part of this chapter is about the calculation related to the previous topic such as saving, investment, credit and debt. First, we look at the simple interest and compound interest calculation. For simple interest, we use I equal to PRT formula, where I is the interest, P is the principal, R is the rate and T is the time. For compound interest, we use the formula MV equal to P bracket 1 plus R over N close the bracket power of N times T where MV is the mature value, P is the principal, R is the yearly interest rate, N is the number of period the interest is compounded per year, and T is the term in years. Let's look at the first example. Calculate the amount of simple interest. In this example, simple interest is I, 100,000, and this 100,000 is the principal, which is also the amount of money that you save in the bank. Keep for 3 years, so 3 years is the time at 4% annually. So 4% is the interest rate. By using the formula I equal to PRT, we use 100,000 times 4 over 100 because we convert 4% into decimal number and multiple by 3. The interest that we get is 12,000. Let's look at example 2. The example 2 is similar to example 1, where P is equal to 100,000. The rate is equal to 4% annually. However, the time is changed into 3 months. Follow the calculation I equal to PRT. We use 100,000 multiply with 4 over 100 and multiply with 3 over 12. And the amount of simple interest we will get after 3 months is 1,000. Now we look at the example for compound interest. Calculate the amount in the account if 3,000 is kept for 3 years with compound interest rate of 3% compounded monthly. In this calculation, we use MV equal to P times bracket 1 plus R over N close bracket power to n times t p equal to 3000 the rate equal to 3 over 100 because we need to convert it into decimal number n equal to 12 and t equal to 3 therefore the compound interest that we will receive after 3 years is 3282.15 cent in example 4 5 and 6 I will show you the calculation regarding the return of investment. Look at example 4. Adam has 1000 units of XXX Berhad Company shares worth RM1 per unit. The XXX Berhad Company declares a 20% dividend and bonus at 2 to 1. Calculate the amount of dividend and bonus share units to be received by Adam. So there are two questions in this question. The first question is to answer the total dividend received by Adam. The second question is to calculate the total shares bonus received by Adam. To calculate the total dividend, we use 20 divided by 100 because 20% we convert it into decimal number and then multiply by 1000 units times 1 ringgit per unit. Therefore, Adam will receive a total dividend of 200. Besides that, the company declares a 2 to 1 bonus share. Since Adam has 1000 units of XXX Berhad company share, he will receive another 500 units of bonus share.
in 2020, Adam bought 1,000 units of XXX Berhad share worth RM1 per unit. The shares were traded on the stock exchange at 1.5 in 2021. How much capital gain will be received by Adam? To calculate the capital gain, we use the latest share price, which is 1.5, minus the share price when Adam bought it, which is RM1, and then multiply with 1,000 unit. Therefore, the capital gain is 500. Example 6 is the calculation regarding return of investment on properties. Adam bought a shop for 800000 He rent the shop to a friend for business with monthly rent of 3000 for 3 years. Then, Adam sold his shop at a price of 850000 Calculate Adam return on investment. Adam actually generate two types of income in this investment. The first is the rental income and the second one is the capital gain. The rental income is equal to 3000 multiplied by 12 months multiplied by 3 years. Total equal to 108000 and the capital gain equal to the price Adam sold to his friend which is 850000 minus the price Adam bought the shop which is 800000. Therefore, the capital gain is 50,000. The total return on investment in this property is 108,000 plus 50,000, which is a total of 158,000. In the last example, I will show you a calculation regarding the loan repayment amount. The loan repayment amount we use A equal to P plus TRT where A equal to total repayment amount, P equal to principal, R equal to rate, and T equal to time. Look at example 7. Calculate the loan repayment amount for 20,000 borrowed for 3 years at a rate of 4% interest per annum. We use the formula A equal to P plus PRT where P equal to 20,000, R equal to 4 divided by 100 because we have to convert the percentage into decimal number and time equal to 36 divided by 12. 36 is 36 months which is equal to 3 years divided by 12 which is 1 year and the total repayment amount is 22,400.